So, you might be wondering how you get up into the pipes. Well, you climb. Now talk about looking like a cockpit. Here we're getting some really down and dirty, highly complex electronics. These are actually the stop control systems that were added in 1998, I think it was, uh, solid state. And all of those are up here in the organ chamber where we're now standing. There's some other things you might be interested in here too, in addition to the stop controls. You might be thinking that these look like speakers. Well, that's because they're speakers. These are actually the lowest pedal stops. They're called 32 foot stops and they're the ones that you can't really hear pitch, you just hear vibrations. And those stops are, make their sounds not from pipes, but electronically through the speakers. Now they're the only electronic stops on the organ and many builders do this now because a full length 32 foot pedal stop is enormously expensive and you can get the same effect for that low pitch out of a speaker uh, really that you can out of pipes so you save some money and that's why we have 32 foot pedal stops on the organ. Going along over here, this is actually original stop control um, electronics from 1984 when the organ was put in. And continuing on around, if we look underneath here, we can see a, another reservoir. And this, in fact, is the reservoir for the third keyboard up, the third manual from the bottom, which is called the swell organ. And you'll remember that we said that the wind comes from a blower uh, in the blower room, which we just saw, and it's delivered up here. Now, if you look up here, you will remember that earlier in the presentation we talked about enclosed divisions, about the pipes being in large wooden boxes called swell boxes, and you saw the shades moving. Now we're looking at the back of a swell box, and this is for the swell division, the Ray division, and voila! there are the pipes. But you'll notice that looking through the front you can see pipes all the way to the front of the box and then probably I think you can see the shades too they're open and we'll see this from the front uh, in a few minutes. Let me mention this of course extremely important when it comes to any pipe organ. Pipe organs are very sensitive to temperature and to humidity and most of the pipes will in fact uh, raise their pitch if the temperature and humidity goes up, they'll lower their pitch if the temperature and humidity comes down. Uh, so therefore you need to try to maintain a fairly consistent temperature uh, and uh, so we're always trying to be aware of what the temperature is up here. Uh, it's part of the maintenance of the organ. Now you'll notice uh, that there is some writing on the side of the swell box, it's not graffiti, uh, these are the signatures of the voicing crew from Cassavant uh, and in 1984 they voiced the organ and on the organ voicing means that you adjust the volume and the color of each pipe, in this case each one of the 4,878 pipes for the room that the organ is in. And that is obviously a very time consuming and very uh, precise process. And so the gentleman who accomplished that, uh, and this is the case with many organ builders, they will sign their work uh, up inside the organ. And so that's who we're looking at here.